What's going on, y'all? It's RC Poetic Soul. And I just want to ask you guys to please be kind and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Hit that bell. Get them notifications. And, you know, I want to start by saying I'm just a simple guy, y'all. I, I love poetry. I love to write. I love to read. I like Cardi B, Taylor Swift, Rihanna, Kendrick. Tupac, Wu Tang, Nas, Gazoo, Lupe. I like Netflix's The Punisher. I like Columbo, Alias, Walking Dead. You know, I'm just a normal guy. You know, I got those things I really like. So, with that being said, I want to get off into this video with you guys. And I wanted to talk about. So, I just wanted to talk about, and this is a hard one, but it's my perspective that I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys about the black man and the police. A black man and the police. So, I feel like a lot of times, often, maybe all the time, I feel like when I get behind the steering wheel, I just don't know. I feel like this, because I'm going to break it down and get straight to the point. So I feel like when I go past a speed limit, I feel like it's a life or death situation. I feel like you have to, if you're black, you need to do that speed limit. It may... It may save your life. You might run into a decent cop. You might not. You don't know the luck of the draw. In a perfect world, all humans will respect humans, but we know this is no perfect planet. It's been that way since its inception. Since the misguided perception of Adam. When he bit into the apple. It's all it's been screwed up for the longest. So perfect planet stuff out the window. And you ought to know that there it's only gonna get worse from what we see. But re relaying this back to me and what I'm talking about. A black man in America, because so many people tried to change their skin. They tried to make enough money to separate themselves. From the African American race. Those who I feel have done that shall remain nameless. But the truth is no matter what you have, no matter what you obtain, no matter what kind of car, house you have, your skin color at the end of the day, it matters to somebody. And that's unfortunate. But surprisingly, it's starting to become the norm. Our voice doesn't mean as much as the skin color. Now, this is not an easy video by no means to shoot. And um, it's definitely not because it takes a lot of nerve to have to talk about something that I feel I shouldn't have to. Racism still exists. It's very prevalent. It's very incumbent of me to share this message. This message is do the speed limit, obey the laws, do what you have to do to make sure you stay alive, see your kids another day, see your family another day, see your whoever it is, because you just don't know. I would say this, try to lessen your encounters with authority as much as you, sorry, as much as you can. Now, I don't know how I'm going to come off, but frankly, I, I don't, you either going to like me or you ain't, or you ain't, or you not, to use proper English. You either going to like me or you not, but I say what I say because I feel like it's a lot of truth in it. Just try to do what you have to do to make sure you keep yourself away from things. 
obviously some situations are unavoidable but do your best I try to do my best I don't want to have any contact that I don't have to have now I know how we can be perceived so maybe we can do something about that um, I used to have my hair long and wow and all kinds of stuff going on and now I just keep it low clean you know I, I can't change the perception of how people feel about me but I can at least do my best to look respectable as if I belong in society you know I used to I deal with depression a lot guys so I used to feel like if I felt like crap I would look like crap but we already know and I'm gonna be frank that there is some kind of target on our backs I've met very nice white people so I'm not being anti-white I'm not I am of the mindset that there's a bigger problem going on and until we figure out what to do constructively and positively to correct it we have to try to limit our contact with law enforcement see I'm not saying do something bad and then go under the radar no I'm not saying that what I'm saying is just do what you have to do to keep your proverbial nose clean in instance of are you doing what you need to do a lot of people feel like why should I have to conform I've been uh, approached about the topic of why do I have to listen to them what you know what makes them so special the badge I don't know I don't know what the heck this house is crazy I'm hearing noises kind of made me jump but um back on topic so yeah if we see you can't prevent what happens to you and I don't want anyone to think that this video is about um trying to prevent or conform but at the end of the day you want to go home right at the end of the night after your work shift or whatever it is you do you like to do in the evening you want to go home see it's it's all about live another day guys you know as a black man black woman too it's all about live another day you want to live another day you're gonna do what you have to do so with that being said I thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit like and subscribe. Please, please be kind and subscribe. I'm out.